for the clothes. I've been putting them into different piles. So I have a pile of clothes that I'm gonna keep, clothes that I'm giving away, and then clothes that can be sold. But here's my issue. A lot of these stuff, I just have not seen them in so long because they've been buried in my closet. So there's items that I know that I should be selling. I low-key wanna keep them because I'm gonna wear it one day, but that's my problem. I say I'm gonna wear it one day and then I never wear it. And then we get into this situation over and over again. Long story short, I'm having a hard time getting rid of some pieces. Why am I holding on to a brown tracksuit? When is the last time you see me wear brown? is my fully cleaned closet i have not seen it this clean in so long there's obviously like not that much stuff in it anymore i did get rid of a lot of stuff and a lot of the pieces that are going to be hanging are currently in the laundry right now so once they're washed i will add them so this is what it looks like for now i'm very very happy with the progress One thing about me, I'm never gonna have pants on. Like big t-shirts all day, every day. I didn't end up finishing my nails last night because like for the actual set that I wanted to do, I didn't have the things that I needed. So, had to place me a little Amazon order. My package just came. So I'm about to open it up and then I'm gonna finish my nail set. I literally only did the base. So I just been walking around like this all day. And you know, the all pink nails is just not me. I definitely could have at least painted them last night. I just wanted to go to sleep early. I think I stopped doing my nails at around like 8.30. I got some more nail dehydrator and nail primer. My nail dehydrator had spilled out and I completely ran out of it. I had to improvise and I ended up just using acetone and alcohol. And I got these little star nail stickers, which I'm gonna use on my nails today. And then I also got some eyelash glue. I've been doing my own lashes lately. I accidentally left the glue bottle open, so it's kind of dried out. I'm about to go finish off this set. I don't know if I should record it or if I should just finish it on my own. I'm still, I'm not even tired. It's just early. I'm low key still waking up. It's only like 7 a.m. right now. But yeah, today is a new day. I did finish my nails last night. Very cute, very simple. And you guys have been on my nail journey with me. You've seen the progress that I have made with doing my own nails. And I'm honestly proud of myself. I thought it was still 7 o'clock, but it's actually 8 right now. So I need to start getting ready because I need to leave my house pretty early today. So I'm gonna just start off with my hair. I ended up getting my hair done yesterday. This wig is from the brand van love hair and it's in their deep wave texture and i believe i believe it's 26 inches i actually thought it was shorter just because the curls are like really defined when you stretch it you could see that this hair is really long i'm gonna just wet it and detangle it so i can see what it looks like because when i got it done all she did was put mousse in it couple of wig promos to do so i'm trying to finish all of them before the month is over i'm probably gonna get ooh 
probably gonna get my hair done again in the next couple of days and now you can see the length now that i'm wetting it curly hair is my all-time favorite but deep wave is my favorite texture i feel like i haven't had deep wave in a little minute my last wig was water wave and then i had a loose wave before that i'm literally running my hands through this wig right now it's so soft and there's no shedding literally no shedding which is rare so shout out to van love i decided to get ready on the floor today because i don't know my room is type big i have a lot of space in my room and i just feel like i don't really utilize my whole entire room i just stick to my regular spaces i'd be on my bed and then i have my little dresser that i usually sit at i never just come pop a squat on the floor so we're switching it up today I'm not even joking. This is really good hair. There's like minimal shedding. I've been given bad wigs before from like other hair brands. If the hair is bad, I usually tell them beforehand. They usually tell me just not to promote the wig and then I don't end up working with them. But yeah, I don't promote bad wigs. While we're on the topic of like YouTube and social media and stuff like that, like, I don't know. I have such a love-hate relationship with social media. I love filming YouTube videos. That's like literally my passion. I love editing. I love filming. I feel like I actually love editing more than I do filming like I'm learning that more because sometimes I don't feel like being in front of the camera but I love creating things I really do enjoy editing it just takes me a long time but part of the reason why it takes me such a long time is because I'd be editing on my little MacBook my clips be in 4k so everything be so slow I love when you guys notice the little things and the effort and the time that I put into my videos because I really do appreciate it sometimes I definitely make it harder for myself because I'm just such a perfectionist I'm just grateful for everybody that be tuning in and watching and leaving comments and stuff anyways i don't know where i was going with this topic hair is fully wet how do we like her i hope i wet the back because at the end of the day the back of my head is not my problem if i can't see it it don't exist for real my room it faces the street there'll be people driving past my house blasting drill music at 6 a.m that's your vibe at six o'clock in the morning don't get me wrong I, I like me some drill music too but at 6 a.m like you already trying to fight people at 6 a.m that's that's a little crazy to me let me go do my face do you guys want to watch me do my makeup i feel like you see me do my makeup all the time see just wild. This thing in my phone it's called the never bored list i mean the explanation is in the title it's basically just a list of things that i wrote down that i can do whenever i'm feeling bored so today we're gonna do one of the activities on there that i've been wanting to do for a little minute today we're going to the aquarium i've been wanting to go for a little minute now we can go to the aquarium all year round but i feel like the aquarium is more of like a, a summertime activity and the summer is about to be over i think the summer officially ends next week and i'm ready to get into my fall vibes fall is definitely my season i put gems on my face i'm in a good mood today so i just wanted to like express that a little bit there's some things that are on my list just in case you ever need some ideas baking a cake baking cookies taking a candle making class rug tufting go get ice cream practice nails go read a book go to the park scrapbooking go get a pedicure self-care self-care night movie night go get boba go to the movies a solo date take a workout class yeah i literally just have a bunch of stuff listed so that i'm never bored this list is very helpful and a lot of these things you can do solo so it's very convenient yeah today we're going to the aquarium um i already have picked out an outfit for today super basic like i just wanted to be comfy 
but now that my face looks like this i feel like my outfit needs to pop but i really don't know what else to put on it's not cold yet but it's not hot right now it's like that in between weather where it's not super hot but it's also not sweater weather so i just don't know what to wear i'm just gonna stick to the outfit that i chose and i'm just gonna accessorize so that it's a little less boring air shoe pants and then i have this little black long sleeve bodysuit and guys now that i have these stars on my nails i'm like bro it's giving babe stuff i definitely wore this outfit before with a different bodysuit and with these same vape studs but i just feel like i have to wear them let's get trash i'm making pretty good time i'm so excited for fall to start i've been seeing a lot of people do their fall videos already i'm like dang do you guys realize that it actually is still summer right now super excited for the fall that's my favorite season i was born in the fall so i am a little biased what was i gonna say there was something that i wanted bro i've been seeing so many people have spooky night where they just like watch halloween movies and bake cakes and paint pumpkins and i really want to do that but I don't know if I should invite people or if I should just do it by myself. I forgot that I'm wearing a bodysuit and I already put the pants on. Like, the bodysuit has to go on first, babes. I gotta take these pants off. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 10.13 a.m. Okay, it's 10.13. I still have about an hour, so I have to leave. I'm trying to decide if I want to eat before I leave or just starve until I get food. It was yesterday or maybe two days ago. I was changing my phone case because I haven't done that in a while. And bro, I took my phone case off. Why something fell out the back of the case? It was $100. I was like, what? I did not know that was in there. And it had been in there for like over a month because I remember my grandpa, he had gave it to me, but I didn't have any pockets. So I just put it in my phone case and I completely forgot about it. Ugh, sorry, this is awkward. I'm trying to button the bodysuit this thing hard i was so happy when i found the hundred dollars and at first i thought it was only fifty dollars because it was a fifty dollar bill but inside the fifty dollars there was another fifty so yeah shout out to my grandpa because whatever i buy today is on him and nowadays a hundred dollars be feeling like twenty dollars because every time i step out of my house i feel like i spent a hundred dollars so change of plans i don't like the pants so i'm thinking about wearing a skirt i low-key want to wear this skirt i think i thrifted this skirt about like two years ago now but the only problem is i've lost a lot of weight a lot of my clothes just don't really fit correctly anymore yeah like this skirt is kind of big on me but i feel like if i like scrunch it down i could get away with wearing it i don't know and i feel like the gems on my face go with the gems on the skirt Maybe I could put a belt on the waist so it's not as loose. Because I don't want to wear this skirt because I feel like I wear this skirt every week. I don't know. Okay. I literally just got in and I'd even make myself comfortable. Okay. Like your head should be like here. Her. It's just because I can't do crisscross abs while spoken. This is fine. The eyes are so cute. Thank you. That was a last minute touch. You know? Mermaid. <laughs>
Around this time last year, I ended up getting my surface tragus pierced. I don't think I told you guys, but a couple months ago, my piercing completely fell out. This was in, I want to say like April because it was after spring break. It was after I came back from Miami. I remember that was like when my piercing had fell out. The skin in that area, I'm going to show you guys like a picture of my scar and everything, but the skin in that area, it just completely thinned out. And since there was no skin there anymore, like the piercing obviously had nothing to adhere to and it just fell off. I literally just have been waiting for it to heal over the past couple months and I was planning on getting it re-pierced because I actually really love that piercing. I decided that I'm not gonna get it re-pierced just because I just don't think it's smart. I feel like if I do end up getting it re-pierced, it's probably gonna end up falling out again. Honestly, I feel like there's a couple of different reasons as to why my piercing didn't last. Firstly, I'm not gonna lie, I really was not taking care of it that well. I definitely should have been cleaning it more, but I don't know, after a while, once my piercing is on my body, I just kind of just let it do its thing like I don't be cleaning every single one of my piercings every single day and then the second reason why I think my piercing fell out is because I don't think my piercer used the correct jewelry I ended up doing some research about the surface tragus piercing and it says that you're supposed to get it pierced with a flat piercing bar and I had a curved jewelry bar in mine which I've seen a lot of people get that as well apparently that's the wrong type of jewelry to use and it's normal for that type of jewelry to reject before I decided that I wasn't gonna get it re-pierced I ended up calling my piercing shop which is Hector's if you know you know i've been to hector's like for years now i feel like that's a popular spot in new york that people be going to because their piercings are literally 20 dollars. i ended up calling hector's and i asked if he would be able to re-pierce it with the flat jewelry instead of the curved jewelry when i asked him that he got so offended he was like oh i've been piercing for 25 years i know what i'm doing i'm using the correct jewelry da 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 he was just going off i was like oh my bad sir like you the professional i ended up showing him a picture of my scar let me see if i could pull it up for y'all. I ended up showing him a picture of my scar. After I sent him the picture, he was like, your next piercing is free. And I was like, oh, bet. Like, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. This was back in July. We are now in September and I still have not collected my free piercing. I just feel like I've just been busy. But today we are finally gonna go get my new piercing. The piercing of choice is just gonna be a regular tragus. I really do like the surface tragus. I just don't wanna like, get it again. I don't even know if you would be able to pierce scar tissue because I still like have a scar from where the piercing was before. I'm gonna get a regular tragus piercing. I feel like that's just gonna be a calm simple piercing. I feel like I haven't gotten a piercing in a long time. The last piercing that I got was in January and that was my bag dermos which I ended up ordering some bag dermal jewelry these little stars and I think I want to get them changed today so yeah that's the goal before we go do all of that I'm actually gonna get some work done because y'all my friend was low-key like coming for me yesterday at the aquarium because we were talking she was like oh did you finish your work for the week and I was like oh no I haven't finished yet and she was like Arissa like I was watching your video didn't you say you were gonna get your work done early I still got time babe. I said I would do my work before Sunday and I still got two more days because I have Friday which is today and Saturday to do my work. We will be done before Sunday so. Okay, so I got seated. That was actually quick. Bro. I'm nervous. Do you think this one hurts? Oh, okay. <laughs> Twice a day in the shower. Okay, so we're leaving Hector's now. I did get my tragus piercing. It was really quick, easy. It hurt like a little bit, but it's not that bad. I feel like the healing might be a little interesting. And I hope I'll be able to wear my headphones and stuff because cause that's gonna be annoying if I can't. But yeah, since I forgot my piercing jewelry at home, I'm about to go home get my jewelry and then I'm gonna go to a piercing shop near me for them to change it because they said that they will change it for like three dollars so we're gonna see if they can hopefully they can because I really want to get these stars in my back this is what I usually use to clean my piercings it's this antibacterial wound wash I got it from CVS sometimes I just be like spraying it directly on the piercing but I'm gonna use a little q-tip it always ends up dripping all over me when I do that soak it 
There's a little bit of dried blood on it, but it's not anything crazy and it doesn't hurt. Honestly, the jewelry is a lot smaller than I expected. So I'm definitely gonna change it once it heals. I literally stopped filming midday because I just was a little bit irritated. I went to Hector's around four o'clock. As I was walking to the shop, something told me to check my bag to see if I had my bag dermal jewelry. I had a feeling that I had left it for some reason. So I'm rummaging through my bag. Lo and behold, Arissa left the jewelry at home. Even though I was going to Hector's to get, you know, my new piercing, I was mainly excited to change my dermal jewelry because I had bought these little cute stars that I wanted to use. I literally wore my Ed Hardy fit and everything because I thought it would be cute together. Once I realized that I left the jewelry at home, I was contemplating taking an Uber back home to go get it, but I was like, nah, like that's just doing too much. I'm gonna just go and just get my piercing like, you know, I had intended to. So I went, I got my tragus. Tell me why when I got there, they were telling me like, oh, you have to pay up front. I was trying to tell them like, oh, this is supposed to be a free piercing because, you know, I had that little conversation with Hector. Hector gonna come up to me, he's like, oh, I never said that. I had to pull out the screenshots. I was like, this you? And he was like, oh, okay. I would say the pain level was around like a two. I feel like I was more caught off guard than in pain because she did not give me no countdown or anything. I don't think it's gonna be a painful healing process. The only thing that I've been thinking about is like, damn, I'm probably not gonna be able to wear my AirPods for a minute. But like me leaving my jewelry at home was just a sign from God that I wasn't supposed to change my back dermals. You know, me being me, I decided that I still wanted to get my dermals changed. Whenever I have something set in my mind, like I just wanna get it done. I ended up calling another piercing shop that was close by and I was like, hey, do you guys change dermal jewelry? And the girl was basically telling me that she can attempt to change it. And I'm like, like, what does that mean? I didn't know if she'll be able to change it, but she'll try. And I was like, okay, how much do you charge? She's like, oh, it's a $3 service fee. So I'm like, okay, like it doesn't hurt to try. So I get home, find the jewelry bag, I hold it in my hand. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just keep it in my hand so that I don't forget it this time. Call my Uber, get in the Uber, driving to the piercing shop, get to the piercing shop. Why do I enter the piercing shop with no jewelry bag in my hand? Literally, at this point, I was so frustrated. The girl had like called me over and she's like, hey, I actually never worked with back dermals before. This is my first time, but she wants to attempt to change my jewelry. She's like, am I okay with that? And honestly, like, I was okay with her trying it out because it's not like she was actually piercing it, literally just removing the top and replacing it with a new one. I didn't think it would be that big of a deal for her to change it. If she was piercing me for the first time, oh, that would be a different situation. I'm getting ready to go change the jewelry. I'm looking everywhere for the jewelry bag. I'm like, oh my God, I think I left it in the Uber. I'm calling the Uber. The man is not answering. I'm trying to report a lost package. I was sitting inside the little piercing shop for like 20 minutes trying to contact my Uber driver. He still to this day has not contacted me back. I ended up just having to go home I don't have the piercing jewelry anymore I wasn't able to change my bag dermals and I was so sad because I'm like bro I literally like <sighs> it would have been different if I left it at home again but I completely lost it like <sighs> I'm just reliving the moment now. I honestly think it was just a sign from God that I was not supposed to change my back dermal jewelry. Maybe the girl was really about to mess me up because like I said before, she said she never worked with back dermal piercings and I was about to be her little test dummy. Maybe it's a good thing. Probably attempt to change them again in October, but now I have to go order a whole new set of jewelry. So that's fun. More of the story, if God sends you a sign not to do something, don't try to do it again because he will humble you. I'm really like a firm believer and everything happens for a reason. So I really just believe that I lost my jewelry for a reason because how is it that I leave it at home the first time and then the second time I attempt to do it, I completely lose it. I'm pretty content on piercings at the moment. There's only one piercing that I've like been thinking about a little bit, but I'm like, I don't even want to say what piercing it is. Like, I just feel like it's a piercing that not a lot of people will like. And honestly, I don't even know if I would like it on myself either. And I just know this is a piercing that like my mom would hate. Like she would literally be like, Arissa, get out of my house. I'm set on piercings for, you know, the moment. Can I promise that I will not get any more piercings in the future? No. But I'm happy with the piercings that I have and I don't want anything like too crazy. If I do get any more piercings soon, it will just be more ear piercings. Y'all should have never let me try sushi because I literally have been addicted. I tried sushi for the first time like a month ago and ever since then I've gotten sushi at least once a week. There's this really good sushi spot that's nearby so it's a little bit too convenient for me. I'm supposed to get tacos but I texted this morning I was like um actually can we get sushi instead? Now we're about to go get sushi. I've become obsessed. Hopefully the addiction will pass. Although yesterday was low-key a mess it ended up ending on a good note because I ended up coming home to a 
PR package and I was super excited because I feel like I only ever get recognized by like fashion brands because that's obviously like my main area of interest. I ended up getting a little PR package from Milk Makeup. They sent me over a couple of products and I was so excited when it came. So I already opened it. I looked at everything, but I'm gonna just give y'all a little haul really quickly. I think I'm only just gonna put on concealer today. So I'm probably not gonna try out the products today, but I will try them out sometime this week maybe. First thing that we got was a makeup removing cleansing balm. And this is called the Hydro Ungrip Cleansing Balm, which I feel like this is gonna be nice to use. Makeup wipes definitely don't be getting all your makeup off, so I'm gonna try using this before I use my makeup wipes and see if it makes a difference. I was actually really excited when I saw these because I actually used to use this mascara, but mine ran out and I just never repurchased it. This is their Kush mascara. They gave me a little mini travel size, and then I also got the full size. I've never had the full size version before, so, you know. Thank you. I obviously don't wear like mascara often, but I do like to use them on my bottom lashes. I think this was the first product that I actually saw when I opened the box and I was super excited because I got the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I always hear people talking about this primer and I've always wanted to try it. I just, you know, didn't want to spend my own money on it. So now I get to try it out. I actually want to take it out the box and see it because I know the bottle, it's so pretty. Like look, definitely gonna try this out the next time I do my makeup. They sent me over another mascara. This is their Rise mascara. It's supposed to lift length and volume. Then I got two of their blush sticks. I'm really excited to try out this shade right here. And now we got one in the shade Quickie and then the other one is in the shade Work. I feel like they picked out good shades for my skin tone. So I'm excited to try those out. I do not own any blushes. Like I literally use eyeshadow as blush. So definitely needed that. They sent me over another primer. I've never heard of this primer before. It's the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Then I got their Kush Brow Lamination Gel. I just use edge control on my brows, so I'm definitely excited to have like an actual brow product. And then lastly, I got an eyeliner, and this is their Longwear Eyeliner, and I'm in the shade Outer Space, which is just a black. Right, I'm actually gonna close off this vlog. I haven't done like a formal like ending to my vlogs in such a long time, but, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me. But yeah, I'll I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!